Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling Nike Hot Seat special guest today. Mike Novogratz, chairman of Beat the Streets, announced that Brendan Buckley would assume the position of executive director of BTSNY. That's Beat the Streets New York. He joins us now. Brendan, how are you? Doing excellent, Scott. How are you? Good, man. Congratulations. The announcement of your move back to the East Coast, this time from the West Coast, uh, was huge news, most specifically leaving collegiate wrestling, going back to uh, a community that you and your wife were very comfortable living in, New York City. That's right. I'm uh, very excited about the opportunity. And, um, you know, it's such a fantastic organization with uh, a very... Uh, motivating mission and uh, the idea of, of going back to New York City where I've spent some formative years and just had an outstanding experience is uh, kind of humbled and, and really excited at the same time. You've been able to work with great guys like Andy Barth and, and then of course Mike Nover gets coming up just a, a couple of people that have been inspiring to you. your leadership has elevated the programs that you've coached at, including Columbia and Cal Poly. Um, can you nutshell it? What are you learning from these guys? What's making you so um, available and so valuable? Um, you know, being at Columbia University and being in New York and then here at Cal Poly um, and just in the world of wrestling, uh, you, you meet just some really inspiring individuals and um, you know a lot of them have um, strong business acumen and everybody uh, has a little bit different uh, approach towards perhaps why they've become successful and I think as you move around um, whatever industry and you know certainly for me being uh, you know I wrestled at two different universities I started at Clemson and then I finished my career at Fresno State and um, it's a similar type of approach you know the style that my coach is instilled at Clemson and, and, you know, all the way back in high school, even, and even my brother coaching me, um, they, they leave a, 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 you know, a footprint in your, you know, in a certain style. And then I went to Fresno state and, you know, as at Clemson, maybe better on the mat and then went to Fresno state. And then I got a lot better on my feet working with Jerry Abbas and a lot of the, you know, my teammates and, and then, uh, you get into coaching and, you know, my first job was at UC Davis, you know, I work with a guy named Mike Birch and he had a very strong, um, uh, influence on me. And then I went to university of Virginia and it was Lenny Bernstein. And then I went to Columbia and I became uh, a head coach and, uh, the alumni I was surrounded with there helped me and influenced me. And then going to here to Cal Poly, there are other individuals who influenced me. I think as you go through that experience, you, you pull a little bit from each person and you kind of help create your own identity. So, but specifically to going back to New York, I'm so excited to be working with that group of people again because they've just been really awesome. And again, it was such a uh, just meaningful time in my life. So to go back, it's it's just really exciting for me. I think we have to give credit where credit is due. You just weren't the head coach at Columbia University. You were the Andrew F. Barth. Um, and what's the full title? Let's say Andrew F. Barth. Head coach of wrestling. Head coach of wrestling. I thought there was a class of whatever in there as well, but class... I don't remember, but okay. Um, sure. You mentioned Clemson. Frankie Edgar told me you're much older than he is. Is there any truth to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't deny that. <laughs> <laughs> UFC, uh, UFC making the big announcement that MMA, mixed martial arts, has now been licensed in the state of New York and where you and I just were at Madison Square Garden. That's huge news, of course, and I believe Frankie Edgar scheduled to uh, be a part of that card at Madison Square Garden. So lots of activity going on around the martial arts, of which wrestling plays a huge part. We're talking with Brendan Buckley. Under his five-year garden at Cal Poly, eight wrestlers made it uh, to the NCAA Division One National Championships, and two, indeed, were Pac-12 champions, four runners-up. Cal Poly Director of Athletics Don Oberhelman said that during his five years at Cal Poly, he's changed the culture. That's perhaps one of the greatest challenges you're going to face with Beat the Streets, isn't it? I mean, it is about the culture. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's, um, <clears throat> I just think in everything, culture is just, it, it is everything. Um, when, you, when, you, when you have a strong culture and you have um, buy-in from the people involved in the organization, um, when you have buy-in from the athletes and the coaches and administration, you know, the goal is always to get everybody on the same page. And so that will be the focus again, just like it was in coaching. And um, it's vital. You know, you got to um, have 
core values and, and, and try and have that permeate the different aspects of, of beat the streets. And, um, you know, it's not like, um, we're, I'm going to go and try and re reinvent the wheel. They, they've had great leadership and, you know, you mentioned some, some great people like Andy Barth and, you know, he, he runs the beat the streets LA, um, uh, organization and Mike Novogratz and, and also Yaru Washington, my former teammate and great friend of mine. And, um, you know, they have awesome leadership there. And in New York, you have Mike Novogratz and um, Kira Berry and Dave Berry. And, you know, the board is really strong. Um, I've heard nothing but strong things about um, what the other organizations are doing, Philadelphia. And so, um, New York is, is, is large and, and, um, to see how it's grown since the, the early years when, when I was coaching at Columbia, it's really, really impressive to, I mean, I remember it, it was an idea. I was at the first gala and people were still trying to figure out really what the organization was all about. And so, you know, to, to be a part of it now that it's strong and it's successful and, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a really exciting experience and. I look forward to really learning more about it uh, and kind of figuring out um, how we can um, continue to grow it and make it make it strong and, and continue with um, some of the success that, that is already there. Brendan Buckley joins us in the Nike hot seat today. Academics has always been very important to you, not only as a student athlete yourself, but as a coach. As a matter of fact, uh, as the EIW Coach of the Year in 2005, and uh, you were recognized with the Bob Bubb Coaching Excellence Award for NCAA Division One in 2011. Um, it's obvious that there are those in the profession of coaching and the fans, the athletes that benefit, are endorsing what you're doing. You're going to be able to bring that, I would imagine, along with those interpersonal skills, that, that deep knowledge of the sport and passion for the student athletes to beat the streets. It's a special opportunity, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, you know, academics and wrestling, they go hand in hand. Um, I think any coach will tell you that when wrestlers are in season and, and athletes are in season, their grades while incredibly busy and traveling and competing and in our sport even making and cutting weight, uh, the grades are always stronger when, when guys are more regimented and such. So I think trying to, um, you know, focus on both pursuits because, you know, we're trying to develop youth, not just, it's not just we want to make them better wrestlers. We want to make them better students. We want to make them better citizens and better people. And um, academics is a big part of that. And, and being at, a couple of universities, um, you know, most of the universities that I've worked at have all been UC Davis and University of Virginia and Columbia, Cal Poly, have all been uh, really top tier academic institutions. So um, being in those types of environments and seeing kids how uh, they don't approach their athletics differently is uh, is really moving and inspiring. And, and if, if, if I can bring that to Beat the Streets New York, um, that experience and trying to motivate kids to um, focus on on academics and athletics and in and, and parallel um, one another, then I think that's going to be uh, a huge thing to be able to do. You and I have been friends for a long time, and I know you're a Long Island boy at heart. Returning to the East Coast is probably no big stretch, but your gorgeous wife, Julia, is a Midwest girl. As a matter of fact, she's my Fort Dodge girl, and I, I remember <laughs> when you called told me you guys were going to get married. I said, how's that going to work? He said, I'm in Fort Dodge right now. Do you remember that call? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I think you even were trying to uh, move it along a little bit. I perhaps. think I was between you perhaps and Mitch sooner Clark. than I was ready. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There was three that I think I've I've been urging along. It was you and Julia, uh, Mitch Clark and his beautiful bride, and of course uh, Mark Cody and Holly. So I think there were three that have been in the studio that I've got a talent toward what I thought would be great matches. And obviously Julia is uh, endorsing this idea of returning to New York city. Can you talk about telling her about the, uh, the idea and the opportunity? Yeah. Um, you know, New York is, uh, just, again, it was, it was just such a, an, an amazing and remarkable experience. And, and, um, you know, I, it, when the opportunity at Cal Poly came and I was really excited and, and, um, man, I'm, I, I absolutely love San Luis Obispo and Cal Poly. Um, but I think being, spending time and having those types of experiences and, you know, first place I became a head coach, um, 
I uh, earned a master's degree from the sports management program there. And then most importantly, um, met my wife and got married um, at the church, the chapel right there at Columbia. And uh, just the contacts I made and you know, having so many uh, student athletes, who's, many of whom I was in their living rooms and met their family, and then having them uh, become successful student athletes at Columbia and then get into their careers. And many of them work uh, and live right in New York City, and then our relationships growing and um, and then again, yeah, I have history. I was I was born in Long Island. My my parents um, um, had met and grew up in the Bronx, and um, yeah, it was it was a great experience for me to to be there and have it come full circle in sort of you know my lifetime. And and yeah, there's a, there's a lot and just everything New York City offers in terms of um, culture and and just um, diversity and 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 the wrestling culture is so strong. I was just so impressed when I moved there, going to events at the New York Athletic Club and meeting all the former and past wrestlers um, who are working in New York City and, and seeing them come together at events and really culminating in the NCAA championships this past weekend in New York. It's just like, man, what a great place to, to grow the sport. We're talking with Brendan Buckley in our Nike Hot Seats uh, special interview. The news is out, of course, that he'll be uh, manning the helm of Beat the Streets New York uh, very shortly. As a matter of fact, coming up beginning of April, and it was uh, Mike Novogratz who made the announcement. Nobody's been a, a stronger uh, component to the fabric that is uh, wrestling in the, in the Northeast or nationally, uh, a tremendous leader for our sport, and we thank him for that. Uh, Brendan, selfishly, um, your return to New York marks my return to the top five restaurants in the city because <laughs> nobody knows the restaurants in New York City perhaps better than you and Julia. So I'm looking forward to that, as I said, selfishly. <clears throat> sure. Well, 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 we'll do a return trip to Carmine's, I, I can assure you. <laughs> Carmine's, man, I tell you what, if that's not the home of Beat the Streets and Brendan Buckley, I don't know. What is? Uh, by the way, Beat the Streets works directly with the New York City Department of Education in a, a, a wonderful, I think, a public-private partnership uh, and that benefits student-athletes. Prior to Beat the Streets New York, really, wrestling did not exist in those cities, in the, uh, in the five boroughs. And this has provided an opportunity now for thousands of kids to wrestle and rise above it all. Coming up is the big Beat the Streets Gala. And... This event uh, has been able to focus on and feature uh, some incredible teams as well, not just the high school kids and, and the elementary kids from the area, but Team USA comes as a big showcase. And this year it'll be USA versus Iran, United in the Square is the title for this event this year. Um, how involved will you be in this event, or is it pretty pretty well decided and pretty well uh, uh, managed all the way to the point where you'll be taking over the helm? Well, I think I'll be involved to to large degree. However, at this point, based on timing, yeah, I mean, they're a uh, finely tuned engine. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, so I know when I arrive, my first day is Monday, April 18th. Um, for, for four weeks, I will definitely be, uh, my, that, that will be the focus of my energy and efforts. Um, but uh, in, in terms of what's done at this point, yeah, this is this. They've done this for a number of years now, and great people working in the organization. Um, there's been uh, there was good leadership prior um, by Jim Fallis and um, a lot of the great people there uh, working with the organization. And you know, Mike and uh, Kira and Dave and all the uh, board members have strong contacts and. Um, you know, outstanding people that are that are supporting the event. That's a, that's the primary fundraiser. So it's very important not just um, to uh, you know broadcast the sport, but also for Beat the Streets New York. That's that could um, provide up to seventy five percent of the uh, um, annual budget. So it's a, it's a big event. It's a fun event. It really um, showcases our sport, and and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Well, you've mentioned some of the gala chairs, including Dave Barry, Kira Barry, and Michael Barry, but Jamie Dynan, uh, Yoshi Nakamura, uh, uh, Mike yeah. Novogratz, John Novogratz is in there as well, Dean Colucci, uh, Kirk Bedell, Scotty Beck, uh, Noel Thompson, John Smith, Mike Schaefer. We, you know, John Smith being on that board, uh, board of directors, I think is an important salute for John giving back to the sport. Uh, 
John does things very quietly and not with uh, with with not a lot of fanfare. Uh, watching him coach is is amazing. But uh, we saw the performance of the Cowboys this year at the NCAA Championships. What were your thoughts of the Cowboys and overall the NCAA Championships at the Garden? Yeah, Oklahoma State, they uh, they brought it. And, um, yeah, to have John uh, involved and, and beat the streets, I think that's really important to have someone of his stature and uh, wrestling wrestling background. Um, but, again, yeah, the, the energy – and the atmosphere at MSG was was really exciting, and me being a um, proponent of, of of the city and um, and how I just I, I really enjoyed when Philadelphia hosted the the wrestling championships, and I hope having it in New York opened up a lot of people's eyes to the benefit of having it in a place. And and in terms of New York, I mean the media capital of the world. There's no better place to market our sport. So while um, there's certainly a, a very strong contingent in the Midwest and parts of the Northeast. And <clears throat> um, I think having the championships in an urban center really makes a lot of sense. So um, I'd love to see it out in, in on the West Coast and in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, I, I like the idea of having it rotate. But in terms of specifically relating to doing so in a city, I think it's great. And um, the people I talked to throughout the weekend felt the same way. Amazing crowds, 110,500 plus, uh, just outstanding attendance, and of course, the Bright Lights Big City that is Gotham. Our pleasure today to have our very special guest in the Nike hot seat, Brendan Buckley. We've been talking a little bit about Beat the Streets New York. Obviously, he'll be taking over the helm there coming up early April, and the event scheduled for May. You'll want to be in uh, in your seats in Times Square May 19th. It's going to be an outstanding exhibition of uh, wrestling at all levels. Beat the Streets New York will host the USA versus Iran, United in the Square, and i got to believe that United in Wrestling, Brendan Buckley, We'll do it again as he returns to New York City, this time as the executive director of Beat the Streets in New York. Brendan, on the way out, I know there are people at, at uh, Cal Poly and uh, elsewhere that perhaps you'd like to recognize, perhaps uh, say thank you to, because none of us do it alone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first, it'd have to be my awesome wife, Julia Buckley. Um, none of this could have been been possible leaving New York the first time, returning to New York this time. Um, she's been my strongest source of support and been through the peaks and the valleys. So, um, you know, for her to be willing to make that change in, in career again is is uh, just shows a level of support that that she's provided. Um, you know, originally to the all, all our awesome alumni at Columbia and and um, you know, again, I've mentioned the Berries and Andy Barth, and there, there's too long a list to mention and here at here at Cal Poly our athletic director Don Oberhelman was um, always incredibly supportive work with some amazing alumni uh, man there's there's just so many people that were um, very helpful we have a wrestling club here called the Meathead Wrestling Club which has been super supportive so um, yeah it was it was great you know again I feel fortunate to have met so many people along the way and um, I, I look forward to continuing those relationships as, as well as kind of re-engaging uh, with a lot of the people in New York. Brendan, thanks for the time today. I surely appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to seeing the impact you have for the kids, for the community, and the larger community that is the sport of wrestling. We appreciate the time. Thanks a lot, Scott. For all of us at Takedown, Nike Hot Seat, very special guest, the new executive director of Beat the Streets New York. Brendan Buckley. I'm Scott Casper, and thanks for watching.